Hey guys, how's it going? We are called to represent God in everything we do, to be imitators of God in everything we do, thereby we will represent the Father as his beloved sons and daughters. This is Ephesians 5 verse 1, and I tell you, if you approach this verse from the angle of thinking that imitating God is an action that you need to do, you'll be crushed. Imitation of God and representation, which is representing him to the world, is only going to come through intimacy. It's only going to come as you access the presence of God by grace through faith. Like produces like. You will become like those you hang out with. You will represent that which you adore, that which you worship, that which you honestly come under the influence of, the power of, that which excites you the most. Look at today's sports fans. Look at the representation, right, of fans that are in sports, fans that are into their music, people that are into their brand names, people that are into their tattoos, their mythic characters, their gothic. Everybody's a representative of something. That's because we know instinctively that we were created to bear the image. We were created for an identity. We were created to represent our creator excitedly, passionately, authentically, sincerely, genuinely, powerfully, accurately. So the beauty of Jesus, he made a way. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. Guess what? We can now come to the Father. Jesus actually said, our Father in heaven. You, through Jesus, my friend, have access to the Father, that you may hang with him, that you may worship him, that you may hear him, that you may be with him, that you may be under the influence of him, thereby becoming one with him, becoming like him. God forbid you just go out and try to imitate a God you've never been with. A God you've never worshipped. A God you've never sat under and celebrated. Be imitators of God is not a burden. It's actually a result of who you have become. And now what is most valuable to you. You will spend your time, your energy, and your money... In the place you value the most. What's most, most valuable to you? Who is more valuable than God? Honestly. But honestly ask yourself this. Do I, do I spend time with God? Do I worship God? Do I long? Am I desperate? Am I hungry for Him? Am I excited to grow with Him? To be with Him? To receive the abundance of grace? It is a great honor. I don't believe there's any greater honor on earth than to be a representative of God. But you, believer, are an ambassador of Christ. We need to believe that. We need to embody that. That is the word of God. You are an ambassador of Christ. I looked it up. It is a dignitary agent authorized to speak on heaven's behalf are you proud to be an ambassador do you are you honorable as an ambassador think about this if we hang out with god to be with him and to become like him does our lives reflect the character and nature of god a god who is honorable a God who is not given to his appetites. God's not given to pleasures. God's not interested in entertainment. 
He's not interested in politics. He's not interested in the news. God is interested in emanating his victory. God is fit. God is healthy. God is not a pleasure seeker. He's not into self-gratification. He's not into uh, fulfilling the lusts of his flesh. God is not um, able to be influenced. God is not impressionable. God is not gullible. Are you those things? God is not open um, for uh, to change his mind. God is not uh, negotiable. God is a God of character, of habits, of discipline. God is a God of restraint. God is a God of commitment. God is a God of integrity. God is a God of service, of sacrifice, of caring more for others than he cares for himself. God is a God of fulfillment, of satisfaction. God is a God of wisdom. Are you becoming those things? Does your life operate like God? My priorities are my spirit, my bodily health, my service to my people. That's how I represent him. I have non-negotiable habits in every one of those areas. I must be with God today to become like him, to, to be fitted with the image of God. According as he has designed me, I must be changed today. It's not negotiable. I must become the man of God I was created to become. It's not negotiable. I am not where I know he created me to be. I am not who he created me to be. It's not optional. Whether or not I become that man, it's not for debate. I would rather die than not become who he died for me to be. Therefore, I must be with him. To be changed, I must be with him. I must sacrifice my old mentalities, my old whatever's blocking or keeping attitudes, beliefs, anything of a low self-image, it must go. Are you tolerant of mediocrity, tolerant of bad health, tolerant of poverty, tolerant of not making an impact, tolerant of the world that you're living in, how you're representing God? We must not tolerate anything less than the fullness of what grace has purchased. I beg you, I plead. Be with him today. Have, you have access by grace through faith. Since you have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we do stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. We must live with him. Soldier, ambassador, warrior, child of God, minister of righteousness, saint, holy one, beloved, rise up, shake off, all the negativity, all the fear, all the anxiety, everything blocking you. Bring it all to the obedience of Christ, right? Whatever's messing with you, bring it all to the cross, all to his obedience. Every thought, take it captive, it says in the word. Take every thought captive and bring it to the obedience of Christ. I'm a warrior. Say it out loud. I'm a warrior. I'm a child of the God most high. I'm the righteousness of God. I will not settle. I'm abundantly blessed. I'm representing him well. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. I'm wise. I'm bold. I'm dangerous. You got to speak it. You got to speak that truth. I am not a sinner no more. I'm a shining sun. I'm a saint. I'm the light of the world. I will not be denied. Come on. It's true. Power by grace. Love you.
Let's go.